<sighs> What's going on everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to another video and today is the last video that you're probably going to see the Trackhawk in my possession. Well, not probably. This is the last video you're going to see of it in here. Uh, I am currently about to leave to go leave this vehicle with the new owner. So if you saw that there was a video posted, it was a little while ago. This sale did take a little while. A couple things that make this sale a little bit uh, different than other sales. One is uh, the price, obviously. It's a six-figure sale. Um, the other issue... The other issue is uh, that I'm very picky. I'm extremely picky. I knew going into this that I was going to be extremely choosy <laughs> over who bought this vehicle to the point where I did uh, refuse a couple offers. I had uh, I had a few offers. One of the offers uh, hit ninety five thousand. One of the offers actually hit one hundred. I had another pending sale with uh, a dude that was actually in Bahrain and uh, for a while that was like the top sale and uh, it just was taking too long and then I was hit up on Instagram by who's about to be the new owner and uh, he came by to look at the car at the garage one night and uh, I don't know you ever just get a good vibe off somebody I, I could see in his eyes that he was very much into the Hawk he loved it, he, he knew he wanted it, he knew what he wanted, he definitely knew what he wanted. He saw the mods, uh, the mod list, he said that this would have been probably exactly how he would have spec'd it out, blah blah blah. I could tell he appreciated it. Um, the dude's really cool, he's genuine. If I had to pick somebody to buy it, it would definitely be him. I'm extremely happy that it's him buying it, very very chill dude, and he's pretty local. So we will see the Hawk again in a different form at the track. I know some of you guys always get on my ass about not like racing the car and and, and whatever, uh, but he will. He does. He does race. Um, he has like a seven second dragster. Uh, he came last night in a big ass dually and he took the stock wheels. He took the stock parts that I replaced with carbon fiber. He took tons of stuff uh, last night and um, yeah, that's it. So basically, I'm going to do one last little cold start. And I'm probably just going to record a little bit while I'm driving. Just talk about, you know, a few things on my mind. About the sale, why I sold. And, uh, yeah, and then I'll film leaving her. And that's the end of this video. So, oh boy. Going to get one more uh, cold start. It's been raining the last couple days, as you can see. So I haven't really driven a car at all in a couple days. So this should be fun. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, so we're uh, currently cruising. Thousand horsepower, just hanging out. Driving like a champ, everything's cool. We're uh, about uh, 25 minutes away. I don't know, you know, we'll see what happens when we get there. But uh, this is it. It's going to be the last little uh, visit for the Hawk. Last little trip. So, thought I'd uh, record this. Figured I would talk about why I'm selling, because I know that's going to be 
a uh, hot topic conversation. So it's got nothing to do with what people think. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of over having a Mopar at this point. I'm, I'm a little bit done with it. I've had too many at this point. Uh, I just need a break. So I am going to a different car brand. That is for sure happening. Um, but it's not anything really more than that. The car has been good. Uh, it's just, I guess I just need a change. Um, I don't want to give too many more reasons away because then it'll start to get a little obvious what I'm doing. But yeah, the last couple days have been crappy. It's been raining. I haven't driven the car. The car only has 5,600 miles, 5,613 miles on it. So I haven't really, um, <laughs> I haven't really gone anywhere with this thing yet. But it was a solid build. I had a lot of fun with this build, so I really can't complain. Um, I definitely like this build a lot more than my Charger Hellcat. I know a lot of people are going to ask about that, but that's the truth. Uh, even though the Charger, I think, potentially with E85, I never even got on it with E85, would absolutely make more power than this. But I, I just enjoyed this more overall as a, a full like package. So, yeah, that'll answer that question. Um, new car, I'll let you all know, as I know, what's going on. So, not yet, obviously, but... You know soon ish i'll be doing videos about it and then obviously i'll be doing videos once it comes and i'll, I'll make sure i uh, update you guys but for real the new owner he's going to be doing youtube he's going to be doing racing he's going to be doing a lot of stuff so i will be linking him uh either now or later whenever he's ready as soon as he takes possession of the vehicle into the description and um you'll get an idea of who he is very chill dude like i said i think you guys are gonna enjoy following him so you can see where this vehicle goes you know he'll continue where i left off and and make it even more badass i'm sure but yeah this is a last little cruise just just enjoying it just enjoying it uh i'm kind of sad it's gonna be gone but uh it is what it is you know you have to you have to you have to change it up sometimes and uh that's about it but yeah let's uh it's almost time it's almost gone oh my god back we're home it's officially gone I just figured I would uh, tell you guys um, so it's chilling at the dealer it is sold it's not a dealer bought car the uh, vehicle is just chilling there it was bought by a cool dude I'm gonna link his information down below um, his Instagram and, and uh, if he has a YouTube channel eventually it'll end up on here but that's it uh, now I just got to start cleaning up the garage <laughs> It became a disaster. It's just been like this mad dash to make sure I had all the parts for him and he got all the You know spare parts and he got all the extra parts. I didn't get a chance to put on yet Like he got all the good stuff. I made sure he was taken care of I even pulled over on the side of the road like a block away from before we dropped it off just to make sure I uh, wiped the vehicle down a little bit so pretty crazy um, What an ordeal. I don't know guys. That's it. It's sold. It's done. It's gone. I'm gonna miss it, it was an amazing vehicle, but we're gonna be on to new vehicles soon, so I can't tell you when it's gonna happen, but when it does, you'll get notification on the YouTube channel. Thank you so much for stopping by. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing if you are an OCD OG. I truly appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.